with what looks like to be a stolen thingy. And now these Klingons are going to be able to just tear up this whole thing. Nice and, uh, nice and pretty like. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen there. And Arash doing the double thing that he's liking to do here, apparently, is going to decloak and burn through all of this here as well. So, Arash making a nice economic hit on stuff. Looking, however, to have uh, suffered a little bit of a attack on his ma his expansion. Having enough ships to fight off a warp in, Katinga out of getting a Katinga out of the process. Uh, Going to rank up his Borel and or Cavort or something here, as he is just managing to burn through this here. Let's see what he's got in this corner. Wow, that is going to end up just working wonders. So down goes this expansion. Down goes this expansion. Arash with a nice double play here. Managing to also save his expansion. Let's see what the Borg have on their way. The Borg needs to get a diamond out there with him. Cloaking. Moving in. This is really not looking that great anymore for the top hand team. Top hand team down a couple. As um, as the backside of this alternate end space is kind of free for uh, kills here. Miranda 2 is still in the process of coming out here. Well, folks, um, let's see what happens here next. Um, bottom team really in a good position here. Starting up on the the dual expansion, the uh, dual dilithium mining here, not quite completely saturated yet. These guys looking to try to come in here, maybe get uh, some kills somewhere out on the corner. Uh, hyperspace sensor going to give some folks uh, point and click detect. Clint stat trying to make a move around. As we are looking at, uh, uh, well, the cube is finished. Diamond on the way. Borg really putting out some funny, putting out uh, some heavy hitting. And Halfala with tons of e um, E2s and Intrepids. Looks like Clint's going to try to do some raiding, but uh, Arash really just looking for an open position. I really think Arash should come in here and take some Tritanium, but uh... Looks like he's going to go after... Oh, not a good move here. He's going to go after this. Going to end up taking um, a couple of phaser blasts in the face uh, from the starbase. Is going to manage to get this kill. He's got enough ships to do it. And down this is going to go. And they are going to run in, run out. Time to get this guy to... Oh, hello, hyperspace artillery. And this is going to make it so nice. Boom. I think that is going to end up getting... Oh, a ton of kills off of it. Oh, wow. Oh, man, Arash has got to be just cursing up a stormy here. What a great sh kills on some of that stuff. Um, but wow, that hyperspace artillery just coming in, doing devastating damage there. Um, <laughs> alternate in, taking also the advantage and... Finding the Borg have some unprotected mining going on here. As we can see that uh, they're going to get this kill here. The Miranda 2s are going to be holding around. Let's see what he does with his fleet here. These all guys need to go repair. Totally need to go repair. As the uh, alternate ends, Federation fleet here coming up. Um, looking to get maybe another kill here. This one resources simulator out of position. And uh, hasn't been turned around. Need has a fed fleet. Someone's not paying attention. Someone needs to kill something. Um, so we go back over here. Arash trying to get out, trying to salvage what was tattered by that absolutely devastating hyperspace artillery <laughs> blast. And saying, still being produced. I have not seen these guys do just a ton. I haven't seen these guys do much of anything. They're getting... I think what Clint's death's doing here is he's expecting some heavier ships like the um, uh, E2s, things that just tend to fall for torpedoes, uh, and and really the Borg. He is really playing on the Borg. 
the Borg's uh, basic um, sort of weakness against tons and tons of torpedoes, though quite frankly, uh, anything that goes up against a billion barrage of torpedoes will die. Um, but uh, since the Borg have larger ships, uh, the torpedoes tend not to miss. So I think that's what these Sangs are going for. But Clint just not able to amass enough of them. Because you can see what Butters is doing. That is exactly what he's doing with the bombers. So, in the meantime here, we have uh, Clintstat trying to do a little bit of raiding, and he's going to actually perhaps go down on these Borg here. The Borg are sturdier vessels, so they will take a little bit longer to kill. The question is, is he going to bypass those or not? We can see, oh, look at the Federation fleet here that Hoffala is fielding. Uh, where is that Borg fleet? The Borg, um, I don't see where the Borg, oh, there they are, uh, looking to have defended that area. A rash hanging on to that stuff as the Klingons looking to get a raid. Klinstack going to try to get this raid off on us. Uh, going to manage to get a kill here. The question is whether they're going to stick around and try to take on the other stuff. You can see on the mini-map, not... Um, they are not moving out. Really, what Klinstack should do is, if he has a container in there or something, um, should put a forward scout to try to see if there's anything coming his way. This is going to end up being a very successful raid here. We see on the minimap that a second raid is going to be coming up here. Very, ooh, look at that Dominion fleet there. So the Clint getting a nice little kill. Good job there on Clint. Um, Borg are going to be cut down a little bit. The Fed fleet, Fed and Borg fleet here, this guy has got to be almost uh, completely finished. You're wondering when the second cube is going to come out anytime soon, folks. Um, Halfala looks to be blocked on some resources here, trying to perhaps, yeah, more E2s on the way. Klingons here hanging out, doing a whole bunch of not a lot. Um, as Arash has found alternate ends fleet. As we see on the minimap, the feds looking perhaps to take advantage of this. Uh, a lone E2 kind of look to be doing whatever the heck it wants to be doing. And... So, um, an odd little bit of a decloaking option for these guys here. They really didn't have the battle. All they did was scare them, scare them away. I don't know what set them off. Someone has a cloak somewhere. Here's a cloak here, nice and providing information. The where someone else has got another cloak somewhere. Just bound to have one here. Clint's got a decent set of cloaks here, but I still think Arash has a better cloaking system set up. He's got everything s settled down. He's going to end up taking this cloaked fleet here and strike up on this expansion again. These guys have managed to reset up their expansion as the as uh, now the top team is trying to take middle again with a large construction yard coming in the way. Butters setting this guy up. Butters hasn't been on the offensive a lot at the moment, but he has managed to... Wow, look at this bomber fleet. The boar come within an inch of him, and he will blow them away. Looking to get just a ton of these T-15s out here, some B-5s. Looks like he's given up on the B-5 production as the Miranda-2s continue to come out left and right, and I see just a blob of... Yes... Yes, that would be a blob of Klingon ships. Bekleraz tearing the stuff down from afar. These minor ships, I really don't know if this was the greatest kill here. I would have imagined that a better kill would have been to go after something else. Uh, this gives, like, this constructor would have been a great kill. Uh, and ally repair going up on this guy. Perimeter being set up in the middle by Butters. Butters trying to make a big stand here. 
as Alternate is going to end up losing his expansion once again to these damn Klingons. And um, at least he man managed to save his fleet, or his constructor, his fleet of one constructor. Yes, yes, that's what I said. Um, down goes the storage dock. These guys not going to stick around for the kill. Probably a nice safe bet. Knowing that something is on the way. So, top team making just a strong, strong push for the middle. Sang's on the way. Vetka Vorts. Wow, that is just a nasty set of Vorts there. Um, where is the bottom team's fleet? I mean, I know Arash has got his stuff sitting around here. That's part of the fleet there. But, um... I think somehow that the top team has managed to come back from this. This parameter goes up, and it'll be a new ball game. That middle will be so much harder to take that as an allied repair uh, construction yard. Uh, and here we have a, a cube and a diamond. Now, the Borg need a second cube up, so here's a second diamond. They really need a second cube up, because the Borg just... I don't know what the Borg are doing here. They don't have sufficient... Um, funny, doesn't have enough ships. It, he's going to end up running into a, a fleet of 40 ships. That That is... This is dangerous waters here, folks. This is a... Oh, wow. As a Borg player, you need to have a timer in your head somewhere that says, how big of a fleet can they have at 10 minutes? How big of a fleet can they have at 15, 20, 30? Right at the moment, the only saving grace for this fleet is that the there is this nebula here. This fluid nebula would allow them to basically um, save their life. It'll it'll be a lifesaver. And do yeah, the Borg going to take a hyperspace artillery in the face, and uh, Klinstat going to end up getting tagged as well, looking perhaps to get out of it. And you hear me say a lot: ten second sphere kills. How long do you think this is going to be? A ten second cube kill. Down goes this diamond. This is just going to be nasty. This is not good for the bottom team. The bottom team is going to lose a diamond. They're going to lose everything. <laughs> There's that was about a that was about a 10 second diamond kill. Three, <laughs> two, oh, and this is going to hurt so bad. Oh, as the Borg try to run, try to get in get into this nebula if they can get into it and they've managed to get into it they are going to get saved Dominion coming in after them riding uh, sight on this guy and they are not giving up on this cube and another diamond coming up along the way this cube needs to stay in this nebula um, they are not giving up on it and this guy is dead that is a dead cube boom Boom goes the cube. Yes, a second cube goes down in this game as just all hell is breaking loose in the middle here. You can't see squat between the explosions and the explosions. Looks like Hall Falaz Fleet is moving around, but it is just meeting massive resistance from all of the um, alternate ends. Yellow Federation Fleet, these Mirandas getting some uh, kills in on stuff left and right as Arash is coming in from behind trying to take on uh, the construction yard as the, he's also Clint Stack coming up from the board kill going to pincer the crap out of Hall's fleet. Hal is just going to be slaughtered. Nowhere to run here. These guys uh, just, oh, and, and the S2's pumping out some of their uh, magic juice and uh, everything is just going to phasers and torpedoes. Um, Wow, the top team has managed to turn this around. You got a guy here just sitting here. You can see Alternate calling out that they have an advantage. And yes, this is probably exactly the time they want to press their advantage. They have just decimated the fleets of the Borg, the Federation, and the Klingons. Everyone is running the Dominion. They do. They need to, they need to press their advantage. They do need to press their advantage. They just don't need to be stupid about it. Down goes an E2. Um, as these guys try to fend stuff off, you'll notice that E2s have no 
they do not have backwards firing torpedoes, so they're